hello guys so in this video we will be going to see how we can deploy and load uh, express application onto aws ec2 and expose it with the help of api gateway okay so what i have done till now i have created an ec2 instance uh, like uh, with ubuntu as an os and uh, inside the mumbai region you can uh, select any of the region and uh, os of your choice so uh, once you have created this you can connect to it so basically I have I have logged in here and then after I have run sudo apt get update basically to update the packages okay so next uh, uh, in the next steps what we are going to do basically create an uh, express application then after we are going to run it at the third step we will be going to uh, create a docker image and then after uh, we will deploy the container we will try to access it from the browser and then after we will be going to expose it with the help of API gateway okay so i have already pre-written some of the command so the, these are the command just to uh, kind of create and uh, deploy the application so i i will be going to my express ads uh, then after npm in it so npm is not installed so basically i have to install the npm as well so i will add this command here so that i will not lost it okay so this will take a little time I, I don't think not more than i think uh 10 20 second so maybe you can quickly if you want you can ex uh, like uh, just make it a hit by 5 10 seconds Okay, so once this is done what we are going to do we are kind of initiating an npm init y that will basically uh, uh, create the package.json then after install the express then after create a file index.js that will be going to have some basic uh, app route so meanwhile let's do we will add one more route with slash health and we'll uh, return uh, service is healthy okay so uh, once this is done we are kind of going to run this file with the uh, node only and then after just test it and then after we'll create a docker file and we'll run it okay so this is done so now let's uh, paste sorry npm init hyphen by so once this is done what we are going to do we will be going to create a file nano index.js right in that I will be going to copy it, paste it, save it, then after npm install express. So once express installed successfully, what we are do, what we will do, we will going to run it, right? So npm, uh, sorry, node index.js. So server is running on port 3000 basically, okay? So now let's do one thing if we try to access this application by copying this okay then after at 3000 and slash so now you will be able to see we kind of this this url is not opening that right so the reason being is like uh, the all the traffic by default is uh, not allowed uh, onto your ec2 machine so to allow this traffic what we have to do we have to go inside the security open security groups inside the security groups inside the inbound rule we have to allow traffic on port 3000 basically okay so we have to add port rain 3000 and then after from any ip so if anyone try to access this application onto port 3000 the traffic would be allowed inside the ec2 machine okay so once we save this and enter this so now you can see uh, this hello world right and if we try to access this health route basically so now the service is healthy we are kind of getting the rest home so uh, kind of we have tested this application so the application is working successfully what we next do is we will be going to create a docker file the issue okay so issue is like if we run this way using node index.js and if we close this terminal so this would not be running right so the reason being is so for that perspective we have to create a docker file so this docker file is very basic so kind of we are uh, so first of all we are pulling the node latest image 
then after creating a uh, just just a directory then after copying package.json from uh, my my machine to the uh, uh, basically the image then after running the npm install to install all the desired required packages copy all the files like index.js or maybe if you have any other file then after exposing the board 3000 just running node index.js that's it okay so then after done it so after that what i will be going to do i will just uh, build this command so before building so, uh, this this is not installed basically so i will copy it and paste this docker is not installed so for that perspective i will be just installing the docker so i think docker maybe what we have to do we should i think use sudo apt install docker.io that, that would be quicker i think snap is already uh, not installed so i think i will uh, add this apt install docker.io for future that would be better so i think if i try to run docker yeah so docker is installed so um, let's build my express sudo su uh, i will just sudo it paste it then after build this application so now you can see like kind of it is building this application i think this would not take more than 20 seconds or for, i think 20 30 seconds so Once this is done, so what we are kind of going to do, we will be going to run this application with the help of this this, this command. So what we are doing is docker run hyphen d is to detach mode so that the application would be running in background. Hyphen p is to mount basically port mounting. So kind of we are exposing the 3000 port of inside the docker container to uh, uh, to the outside. And then after the my express app would be the docker image file name, right? So I think the building is, is still in progress so once this is done what we will do i think we will run this docker run command then after we'll again try to access this application using the same uh, uh, this browser only so now this application is not accessible the reason being is we have uh, closed that node index.js that we have run right so it is not accessible yeah so this is done after that kind of we will paste this command enter it so now the docker has started and container so with name with image my express app and container id is 8331 something like this so if i enter it so now you can see the rest we are getting the response right so the issue is but now as of now we are getting this response on the not secure which is http right let's say if we wanted to access this on the https secure port then what we have to do we have to create the api gateway okay so let's go inside the api gateway and uh, then after let's create an api gateway so for now we will use http api you can use rest api as well if you need more configurations but to make the things more simpler we will be going to create http api api name would be uh, express app i will say next it next next create it so for now i have i haven't created anything just created an api gateway that's it okay so uh and the as, is, as in second step what we have to do we have to create an route basically okay so route is like the request path okay so let's say slash health okay so if i open this so here you can see slash health is one route slash is one route and let's say if you have any other route as well so that would be the third route okay but uh so ideally what you can do you can create all the routes that you have inside the node express application or you can create a single proxy route that will basically route all the coming requests to your node express application so to make things simpler we will be going to create an proxy route so we have selected any method basically we are not, don't, not saying get put post so if any request is coming either it is get either it is post put patch whatever it is just do the following okay so proxy plus so this basically it is just a greedy path that basically says if the request is coming on slash do the same thing if the request is coming on slash test slash xyz slash whatever it is you just do the following thing okay so i will be going to create a route click on any 
and then after you can attach an integration so integration is like what we have to do once api gateway receive this request so basically once api gateway receive this request we have to redirect this traffic or request to the ec2 right so we would be going to create an integration click on create and attach an integration choose the integration type as an http uri method as http valid url you have to add http kind of uh, the AP, uh, ip address of uh, ec2 and then after port number and then after make sure to add proxy okay so this basically what it does is so let's say if you hit this request uh, ec2 ip or maybe the api gateway ip slash test slash health so that slash test slash health would be transferred to your ec2 application as well what uh, the uh, express application running on ec2 okay so so i will going to create it and then after i think application is self deployed i think we don't have to deploy i think on the default path default route so i will copy this i will go here and just paste it so now you can see we are getting the hello world as a response if i wanted to test slash health so if i use slash health so we are kind of getting the response on services healthy okay and this the uh, observe the point to observe is the uh, api uh, or the maybe the path is http as now secured right it is before that it is not secured so that is the advantage of using api gateway on top of the ec2 so this is how you can basically deploy your node or node express application onto ec2 instance okay so that's it for this video thank you